flip cameras. Katie Stevens joins us from the American Idol Tour. Uh, Katie, now, when we met you in L.A., you told us a story that you were an Orioles fan. Yes, my family. See, I know nothing about baseball, but my family, they're all Baltimore Orioles fans. So when I was coming here, my brother goes, Katie, you have to sing at a Baltimore Orioles game. And I'm like, why? And he goes, because I have to go and I have to meet them. I was like, okay, Ryan. <laughs> well, you're still a fan even after this rough season we've been having? Yes, my family, the way that we work is we're fans till the end, no matter what. That's, that's good to know. Yes. So I've been, I've been finding out a lot about the guys' bus so far, but I haven't found out too much about the girls' bus. So I have some questions for you about yes. the girls you're staying with. Who is the messiest? Hmm, the messiest would probably be either Crystal or Dee Dee. Uh, who's the biggest flirt? Biggest flirt, Dee Dee. <laughs> uh, best dressed? Siobhan. Class clown? Me or Siobhan. Who's the highest maintenance? Hmm, that's tough. Dee Dee, maybe? Okay, I'm also trying to get to the bottom of an incident in which Aaron Kelly was shoved into a cupboard. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, what do okay. you know about this? I, I was there. Okay. And it was in Michigan, our first stop, and we went into Lee's room, all of us, and we were playing Truth or Dare, and we dared Aaron to go into the cupboard. So Aaron was like, okay. So he goes into the cupboard, and we kind of sort of locked him in there. And we told him, let us know when you want to get out. And we were asking if he could breathe and if he wanted to get out. And he was like, no, this is actually fun in here. I actually like it. And then so we were about to let him out. And all of a sudden, the cabinet came off the hinges. And Aaron popped out. And then we had to pay for the damage. But, yeah, it was really funny. And Crystal has a video of it. So hopefully that will end up on YouTube at some point. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, all right. Well, um, now, I, I want to... Talk a little bit about what songs are you performing in the in the, uh, the touring show? Um, I'm performing Here We Go Again by Demi Lovato and Fighter by Christina Aguilera. So I'm really excited because this is the kind of music that I would like to record on an album. So it's kind of me giving my fans a first look at what they can expect from me later on. Now those are two songs I don't think you performed actually on the show at all, did you? Well, I performed Fighter at the finale and we actually got to perform with right. Christina Aguilera, which was amazing. And then I just thought about how I want my set on tour to be upbeat and I want people to be able to know the song. So I figured Fighter was a song that a lot of people knew, so it would get people dancing on their feet. And so far, it has, it's gotten good reviews, so hopefully that can continue. <laughs> uh, what have you learned about yourself so far on, on tour? I've definitely learned that I'm, I'm very strong. I mean, it, it is definitely is hard to be going from place to place and living on a bus and not seeing my family or my friends a lot. But I mean, I know that this is going to benefit me in the long run and I'm having a blast. This is my dream. So it's, it's great to be out here. And you're the first person not to mention that my recording device looks like a taser. So thank you very much for that. Oh my gosh. Well, now that you mention it, it kind of does look like a taser. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, stopping by. Thank Appreciate you so it. much.